The B-21 strategic impact is limited by its numbers, and the inefficiency of the U.S. defense industrial base exacerbates this issue, raising concerns about America's readiness to maintain its military dominance. It features advanced capabilities and a unique design. The Air Force plans to build at least 100 units, but experts argue that at least 300 are needed to address threats from China, Russia, and Iran effectively. The U.S. Air Force has the best new stealth bomber on Earth, the B-21 Raider. Unveiled in a rare public event above the skies of Edwards Air Force Base last November, the Air Force plans to build at least 100 of these bombers. While that is a respectable number, it is not enough, considering the kind and level of threat the United States is currently facing. For the B-21 to have the strategic effect that its designers intend, the Air Force must procure at least 300 units. And they must do so relatively quickly as threats from China, Russia, and Iran intensify. For a mere 100 or so units of the B-21 to have their desired strategic impact, the bulk of them would have to focus on one theater of operations the geopolitical disorder and the B-21. The world is plagued by three major conflicts. There's the ongoing Russo-Ukraine war in Europe, the Iran-Israel proxy war in the Middle East, and the rising tensions between China and its neighbors, notably Taiwan, in the Indo-Pacific. Other potential conflicts simmer, don't forget the possibility that Venezuela could invade neighboring Guyana soon destabilizing the United States' already fragile backyard. Where will the B-21 go? And in the event of a great power war between the United States and Russia or China, wars that would be waged in those countries' regions, how might the B-21 move around in a contested environment where things like refueling tanker, planes are at risk of being destroyed and America's airfields might be hit in the opening salvos of the conflict? With at least 300 B-21s, the United States can deploy the Raider to each of these regions and have them on site, ready to roll, at the drop of the first enemy bomb. What's more, if America's rivals know that the United States possesses 300 or more of these birds, they might be deterred from initiating any hostilities at all. America's defense industrial base is broken. Here again, America's inefficient, Byzantine defense bureaucracy needs the country's sclerotic defense industrial base to yield a truly awful result, the B-21 is America's next main bomber. And there won't be enough of them. The US increasingly looks like France or Britain before the Second World War. It rides high on its legacy as a great military power, but in reality it is a declining power, about to be pushed out by far more dynamic rising rivals ready to aggressively challenge its hold? The failure to reliably build enough, B-21 Raiders is yet another sad symptom of a disease that could soon prove terminal.